Hi all, my name is Shruti Mehrudra and I am here to give a demo of myself for dem online teaching. Today in this demo class, I will be teaching English language for primary classes. Topic covered will be subject and predicate. I would specify my boards. Yes, I can teach CBSC as well as ICSC kids. This is my demo class for subject and predicate. I have taken a topic which will be covered in 4 minutes session. Thank you. The topic is subject and predicate. There are two parts of a sentence. Let us look at the sentence. Children play. Here, this is the sentence. Children play. Sentence. Okay. It can be divided into two parts. Subject and predicate. So, our subject will be children and the predicate will be play. Let us take another example. A large tree is growing in the park. So, here the sentence is, let us repeat once again, a large tree is growing in the park. Here, we can easily divide this sentence into two parts. The first part names what the sentence is about. A large tree. Okay. And the second part says something about the subject. So, the first part we will say as the subject. What is the second part? Is growing in the park. This is the predicate here. A large tree is the subject. And what do we say about the park? So, is growing in the park is the predicate over here. The subject is the first part of the sentence and the predicate is the second part of the sentence. Now, with the help of some few more examples, you will be able to understand subject and predicate more properly. Let me tell you, all sentences whether they are statements questions or commands can be divided in these two parts the subject and the predicate now we are starting with an exercise. Divide the following sentences into two parts, the subject and the predicate. First sentence, let us read it. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Jack and Jill is the naming part, okay? And went up the hill is the telling part. So, the naming part, Jack and Jill, is the subject.
Hill. Jack and Jill is the subject over here. Now, this is the naming part. Who are doing what? Jack and Jill are climbing up the hill. So, Jack and Jill is the naming part and went up the hill. That is telling part. What is they are what what they are doing? They are climbing up the hill. So, went up the hill will be the predicate. Okay. Now, this is the telling part. Let us take second example. Little Mary had a lamp. Little Mary is a naming part. Okay. Had a lamp is the telling part. Means little Mary was having a lamp. So little Mary is the naming part over here. Had a lamp is a telling part. So naming part will be little Mary will be the subject and had a lamp will be the predicate. The principal is going round the school. The third sentence. The principal is the naming part here and is going round the school is the telling part. What he is doing? He is going round the school. So, the principal is the naming part here will be in the subject category. Okay. The principal subject is going round the school will be the predicate. I hope I am making it clear children. Now, let us see the fourth example. A large number of birds are sitting on the wall. So, here the naming part is what? Tell me. Can you able to, are you able to tell me? A large number of birds are sitting on the wall. You can understand from this sentence, birds are sitting on the wall. Yes? So, the naming part, a large number of birds is the naming part over here are sitting on the wall what they are doing they are sitting on the wall it is the predicate okay so I will write here a large number of birds is the subject and the predicate is are sitting on the wall okay last sentence my watch keeps correct time so watch my watch is the naming part over here keeps correct time is the predicate over here so my watch is the subject here Who keeps the correct time? My watch. The my watch is the naming part. Keeps correct time is the telling part. So, keeps correct time is the predicate.